Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create your very own Pal World dedicated server. I'll show you the steps of setting it up and how to get everybody in. The only thing is this will not work for Xbox, only Steam. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If it helps, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open your Steam library. You want to go to there and click on tools you're then going to scroll down and look for power world dedicated server and then you need to install it you can do so wherever you want all right so the first thing you want to do is click on launch click play world dedicated server and let it load up from there you're going to get this pop-up you can click allow and then another screen is going to pop up you just bring that over here from there once that's available you can just click the X button to close it out next step we're gonna go back to our steam launcher we're going to find the PAL dedicated server we're gonna right click and we're going to click manage and then browse local files that's going to bring up this folder and then we're gonna look for the default PAL world settings INI right click open with notepad then we will drag that over now we need to copy from the fourth line down we can then close out of that okay so now we need to open up our pal server uh, folder we're then going to go into pal saved config windows server from there we need to look for the pow world setting ini you're going to right click open with the notepad from there you need to paste in what you've copied previously okay so now in that folder we want to look for a server name you can change it to whatever you want um, server description you can put whatever admin password you'll definitely want to put something there and server password you put something there whatever you want of course alright so then we will go ahead and close and save that then we're going to go over to our dedicated server and click launch That'll take a second, and once again, you'll get this pop-up right here. That's all it's going to say. It's not going to say anything more. So, pretty simple. Now, you're going to need to be able to find your IP address in order to join your server. And you'll need to find your IP address to give to other people to join your server. To find your own, you simply open up Command Prompt and type in IP config and you're gonna look for your IPv4 address that's how you're going to get into your server and in order to find your external IP you can go to what's my IP.com and that'll give you your IP so now next thing we need to do uh, to join is obviously launch the game and we're going to click join multiplayer game and you can just click OK here now if you set up a password which you should have on your server first thing you want to do is go to community servers you want to find a server with a password you'll double click that there and you'll put in your password that you put in for your server click OK and then no so then what you'll do is you'll put in your IP address right here and you'll leave the colon 8211. So it should look like that. And then connect. The game will then load up and you are now in your dedicated server. Uh, a couple things to mention, of course, is if you close that box that popped up when you open the 
the server, it will shut down your server. And again, I just have to, to iterate, this is not cross-play. Not at all. Uh, this will only work with Steam. And you may also have to forward your ports for your friends to come in through your router. Each router is different. Uh, I would just Google how to port forward with and your router model number. But yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, just leave that command box up that pops up when the server starts and your server, server will run nonstop. If your computer shuts down, or if you close that, the server will stop. It should auto-save um, periodically. But yeah. Anyways, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, again, don't forget to press that like button. Do me a huge favor and subscribe. It really helps. And comment below on how easy it was. Alright, well I will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.